At this cultural center in Paris, people crowded in for a pint of beer and a serving of politics. And with that, this whole crowd exhaled. There was no big upset, no come from behind victory from the far right. If we had another result, it would have been a real drama, I would say, uh, for our values, for the, the image of our country internationally and economically, of course. In his acceptance speech, Emmanuel Macron acknowledged how many people voted for him to block Marine Le Pen and how much anger there is. I am the custodian of their sense of duty and attachment to the Republic, he said, adding he will respond to them. Le Pen moderated her more controversial positions, focusing on affordability. As she conceded, she said today's vote is still a resounding victory because so many people voted for change. She vowed to keep fighting in June's legislative election. Vive la République! Vive la France! This analyst says Macron's win is important domestically and internationally. It would have been a disaster for a very diverse country like France uh, to have Marine Le Pen as, as, as the president. But I think it's absolutely crucial uh, on a European and a foreign policy level. I think that this is really where the death blow would have come. As dusk fell, protesters gathered across Paris. Some cleared by riot police as the crowds grew. These young people were chanting, we are here, we are here. Even if Macron doesn't want us here, we are here. One of the first things Macron will have to do is show those who didn't vote for him that he is listening. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Paris.